Hey folks, it's Grimwit. This is uh, Elegy for Dead World. So I was thinking maybe we should do a little bit of history. This is the final world. And uh, wow, it looks built, man. Let's start writing. Let's see what we can do here. All right, the proud history of a dead world. So I'm going to go right off the top. 50,000 years ago. This was home to... Let's find out. I guess this is like section 14... Okay, it has 14 sections and 107 word count. Alright. I want to do it. I want to do it with you guys. Whoa, is that a leg? What the fuck? Press tab to write. 50,000 years ago, this was home to the Krint. A strange race of evolved crow. They had a habit of creating shiny effigies then stealing them from each other. Alright, good way to get this started. We're going to talk about the crint, I guess. Man, look at those T's. I guess that's supposed to be like a face. Yeah, probably so. They covered their planet with giant faces of lost ancestors and created the float stones in their image. Unfortunately, all of the crint look exactly alike. They didn't understand visual metaphors very well. Isn't this fun? <laughs> oh, you gotta wonder about the giant floaty faces. Huh. That's a writing prompt I, I did not expect. Other worlds have high art and pottery and visitors will often say that Print pottery is like the purple sun of Omega Five, non existent. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm being good to these people or if I'm just kind of writing another scathing review of a tourist attraction. Well, this one wrote a date, or possibly his name. Right on, dude. For millennia, their feathers were unmatched. No other sentient life form would build such plumage of grays, blacks, and shiny blues. They really were a bunch. 
bunch of dumb crows. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I don't really feel that much about the crint. All I'm saying is that my publisher should not be sending me to ancient rune worlds when I clearly wanted to go to Omega-5. I mean, God. You know, considering that the Krent could barely understand the concept of an Erector set, the fact that they created this is pretty telling of their tenacity. Towering build buildings erected into the sky with near no knowledge of structure integrity. Truly, they were a brave race. The tips of towers crumbled beneath their feet slash Laws, and they continued despite it all. Intelligence is no match for tenacity. Fair enough. <laughs> Still, look at these beautiful towers they built in the background. I will admit that. Well, I mean, not to my publisher. What in God's name is that? Holy shit, it's loud. The heart of their politics. Stolen by rival print, uh, rival print group from the opposite side of the planet. Theft. What? Theft was a racial sport. God, this thing is loud. I can't hear myself think. Get the hell away from this thing. Ah! I'm going to guess that's their grocery store. Children sang of this. Elders. Griped. No. Wind of its change. Mothers. Chirped. Random chirping 
of I'm sorry, the random twittering of a bush full of birds. Not one of my best lines. What can you do? Ooh, we can go into this place. Let's go into the alien grocery store. Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna need some effigies. I'm gonna need maybe this shield, that pottery over there. Whoa, holy shit. What happened to this thing? In dark corners and private rooms, however, some effigies sank into the walls like rotten skin. Stare too long and they sing the song that ended their race. Listen too long and they draw the symbols that ache in the ground. Fuck, I don't even know where that came from. Let's get out of here. This place is making me crazy. Goddamn alien grocery store. So that was a thing. A little bit more of my daiquiri. <clears throat> but like anything that baked under the orange sun, after thousands of years, they lost their feathers and plummeted to the ground. Good enough for me. Have you guys ever played The Dig? You ever seen that game? This kind of reminds me of. Yeah, that was a nice game. It was, uh. What was that? Windows 95, I think, that came on? Whoa. Sudden sound change here. There was a fall. The same people who. brought us. frozen sand and electric toothpaste. Because they didn't understand how trade worked. Somehow forgot to grow crops. Or find a viable source. Fuck. I don't know what I'm spelling of water. <laughs> That's a beautiful orange sky, though. You gotta admit, the Krent had a lovely, lovely sun. Oh, it was wasted on them. You know, their primary form of trade was Doritos. No, no, they actually had to buy Doritos as a form of currency. And they kept eating them. But nev nature never... Hmm, that's a tough one. Pulled no punches. Nature was all like... Yo, Crint. Why you no got yourselves a corner to poop in? Why you 
gotta go to other planets and poop on people's cars slash spaceships. You know what? Screw you guys. Nature was ghetto like that. Yeah, I gotta admit, nature's right, though. Bird people pooping on cars. It's not right. It's not right. It's not fair. If only the Krint had cars. We could poop on theirs. They weren't a spacefaring planet, though. Ooh. That is definitely not of Krint design. Let's head inside, see what this, what's in this hut. Um, hmm. I think this is a Krent fan. As he wrote Krent fan fiction. This feels right. It feels like it's a Krent fan place. This does not have the look of their normal fare. Before I open you up or anything, I want to take a look in this place too. Yeah, this is, this is basic Krent fan work. Yeah, I've seen this before. People will say, like, you know the Krent, they were fucking awesome, but they weren't awesome, alright? They weren't. And echo thousands of years later, they built tiny huts made from Krent feathers in, uh, to respect the lost peoples of this planet. They sat inside building their crent like effigies and writing crent fanfic. Pretty close to the end of this one, too. Say what you want. It is a beautiful game. Holy crap. It's a perfect Krent effigy. But you can tell that it's new. Huh. I have no idea what this circuitry in the wall means. You know, I think this is to build their own Krent vibrators. Wait, that's not right. Krents didn't have vibrators. They, like, laid eggs and shit. Of all the lessons they could have learned, not being crint should have been highest on their list. Somehow, no, the retard is too thrown around. I need a, I need a highfalutin five dollar word that means idiot. From Alpha Sand Six. Drank too much paint and suffered. The dreaded problem code ID ten tango. God help them. Let's get out of here. I just want it to be known that uh, Omega 5 would have been better. I'm running out of my daiquiri. God damn it. We need to speed this up. Gotta get to the next daiquiri. Wait. That's a nice little graveyard. Any far any um, any parting words for the crimp? And in the end, despite their... <clears throat> undefeated... 
repeatable uh, determination. Their legacy was to be defeated by simple starvation and unhygienic practices. We will miss the print. Those jokers of the universe. Without them, who now shall we point and laugh at? Rest well, poor. Yorick. And I believe that is, as they say, that. Back to the portal we go. Publish now! Now, damn you, now! We need a title for this. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't even know what I just pressed. The title. <clears throat> the Lost print publish apparently this goes by the workshop which is a pretty good way to put it uh, I'm going to read somebody else's work correct punctuation by sauce boss sauce, sauce boss sauce boss very nice I have landed the ground is rocky and the air smells like dried leaves you should not be taking off your helmet, Sauce Boss. There are machines moving in the distance. I think they're broken. Well, that's the crank for you. I found a giant face made of stone. It's half buried in the ground, staring at the sky. There's a tower here. I tried to get into it, but there was too much rubble. A sculpture floats above the ground. The center is glowing blue, and there are several spheres orbiting it. Oh, man. He has got this down to a science. This man knows how to describe the world. I've entered into one of the buildings. There are mirrors here, but they're all broken. What could that mean? Most of the buildings in this world have been torn down. They lie in ruins, these ruins, with their insides stuck out. Mm, yeah, yeah, okay, that's correct. All right. There aren't any machines here, just empty planes. It's as if civilization just stopped. Man, you didn't know the crant like I did. I've come ac I come across three sculptures. They are more crude than the other ones before, and two of them have been destroyed. Have been. Have. There needs to be a have there. I, you think I'm bad, you should see my mother. She proofreads everything that she reads. She can't shut it off. I walked into a hut. It was someone's home at one point, but over the years, they have been destroyed. It, it has been destroyed. Don't change the subject. N needs to be capitalized. In the second hut, I see a split over some rocks. They are probably for cooking. They? You mean it. Changing plural and singular. In the third of the three huts is a single stone sculpture. It is the same face that is elsewhere, only much larger. Very true. As if, as I leave the world, I'm encountering... Oh, as I leave the world, I'm encountering. There are a field of hundreds or thousands of these sculptures. I don't know what they mean. Perhaps, but perhaps someday I'll find out. Not bad, Sauce Boss. Not bad. You certainly know how to describe the scene in front of you. No, I'm not going to comment. Uh, quick note. Uh, I am not the most observant of individuals, and I just realized that after three episodes, that does not say comment. It says commend. Um, yeah, I probably should have commended or at least one of these stories. This video is my comment. So, uh, that is it. Um, you know, 
gonna call it here. Boy, that that was actually that was actually a lot of fun. So <laughs> we're gonna end here. We've been through the three worlds. If you guys want me to go for another three, leave a comment. We'll see what happens. I I enjoy this. I actually enjoy reading other people's works more than anything else. But uh yeah. Yeah, good times. All right. Well, that's it for me, and I will see you wherever the stars take us. Let's write a star. Wee.